NOS dry fogger systems are easily identified by the existence of a single fogger nozzle with a fitting ready to accept a tuning jet and a single nitrous line. These kits will have nitrous solenoids only. There will be no fuel solenoids present in a dry kit. A dry nitrous system simply means that the fuel required to make additional power will be introduced through the engine's fuel injectors, while the nitrous is introduced just upstream of the throttle body. This keeps the upper intake dry of fuel. Dry systems require the engine's existing fuel system to increase its output of fuel during the period of nitrous injection to prevent a lean condition in the engine. With a dry nitrous system, there's generally two methods for increasing the fuel supply to your engine. In the first and most common method, you'll increase the fuel pressure that goes to the fuel injectors by bleeding off nitrous pressure from the nitrous solenoid when your NOS system is activated. This pressure increase feeds the vehicle's factory fuel pressure regulator and will increase the flow at the fuel injector. The alternative method of adding the required fuel is by increasing the time that the fuel injector stays open by changing what the vehicle's computer reads, basically tricking your electronic control module, the ECU, into adding the required fuel. We won't be dealing with this method because it's so specific to each particular engine type and the individual designs of the computer engine controls. Now there's additional fuel and nitrous adds the extra air, so altogether, more power is created during combustion.